Hey hello guys, it's How to Tag Simplified back again with another easy tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to actually fix the lag and boost your FPS in Roblox. Now this method is very easy, takes a couple of ste steps, so let's get right into it. First thing that you want to do is open up your search bar and type in a Roblox player. Now this should come up with the Roblox player and from here we right click it. Now we open up the file location and this will come up. Now from here we right click the Roblox player once again and open up the file location. Now here you see the Roblox player beta. Now we actually want to go down to the properties. So right click it and head down to the properties of the game. Now here we go down to the compatibility tab and inside the compatibility tab, we actually disable the full screen optimizations and we run this program as an administrator. Now from here, we actually change the high DPI settings. So simply press it and it will come up with this window. Now it's very important to override the high DPA scaling behavior and that we scale it to the application. Now from here we press OK, press apply and the first step is done. Let's get to the next step. Now what we will do next is actually do it again but from now we type in Roblox player, head down to the file location once more. Uh, from there we open it uh, once again in the file location and here is the part where we need to copy the address. So simply press it right here, uh, copy the address, and from here we go down to the graphic settings. So simply type in graphic settings, and as you can see right here, it pops up already. Now what we will do next is actually add an application. So from here we press browse, and inside the browse settings, we paste the pathway that we just found, and we press enter. Now from there, we select the Roblox player beta.exe and we add it. Now, as you can see, it has been added, the Roblox game client. What we will do next is actually press the options and here make sure that the high performance is set. Now from here, we save it and now it is prioritized in our system. Now what we will do next is actually open up the Roblox player. So double press it. Now, once it opens up, simply head down to the start icon, right click it and go down to the task manager. Now, inside the task manager, all the running applications should show up. Now, here we type in Roblox and in the side here, we actually right click it again and we go to the details of the game. Now, here uh, the details will open up as you can see and what we will do next is right click it again and from here we have a list of stuff to do. Now, here we can set it as priority. Now, it's very important that you set it too high because then it will actually change the priority and put all the resources towards Roblox and from there you make sure that it doesn't lag. Now, the last step that we're going to take is actually by opening up a, a game of Roblox, so an experience. And once the game has loaded up, let's wait a couple of seconds. Now, right here, as you can see in the top left corner, there will be the Roblox icon. Now from here, we can actually go down to the settings and inside the settings, we can scroll down till we find the graphics mode. Now make sure that this is set to manual and here change the graphics quality to the lowest. Now from here, you can actually reduce the motion and the background transparency also to the lowest. And from here, your game should run the smoothest and take the least amount of graphics to actually process the game. Now, if you still get any other questions regarding this tutorial or if this tutorial has helped you, please leave it in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And thank you for watching.